Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today, I just want to talk a bit about the what I bought this week. $10 a week challenge, what I got for that. And if you like fun videos on gold and silver coins, macroeconomics, please like, share, subscribe. I do upload videos basically every single morning, and they're all premiere, so come hang out with everyone. It's a great group of people to come hang out with. Getting some pretty good turnouts lately, so I really enjoy that. Sorry I missed yesterday's premiere. <laughs> Kinda busy, but it's all good. It seems like everyone enjoyed their time. But, this past week for the $10 a week challenge, I did get something kind of fun. I'm going to start off with that. And what I got was this Newfoundland 50 cent coin. Now, the this is one of the, not a key date or anything like that, but the 1919s, I like to get them. Just because they're a bit less common. And that yeah, basically sums it all sums up what I got for the $10 week challenge, but that'd be a King George the Fifth on the back. But yeah, so Newfoundland, as I mentioned a few times already, is a different country back then. They entered into became part of Canada in 1949. When, yeah, Canada became a country in 1867, and this would be the 2017 150th anniversary bill, as you guys can see there. Pretty cool to get that. But, yeah, just so you guys can see what, how it shows in the currency and the coins and everything like that, we have the 1949 commemorative Newfoundland dollar. Probably the least common of the silver commemorative Canadian dollars. And, yeah, I do have quite a bit of Newfoundland coins in the stack. That's not the first one that I got. The other one here, it's right on top. I might as well pull it out, put that one down. I'm gonna put it in there anyways, but it is one of the more common years. It's a 1918. 50 cent piece and I was actually kind of going there looking to get a quarter so I could get one of each denomination excluding the penny but yeah cause there were no nickels all the nickels for Newfoundland are silvers so as you guys can see there by the toning and everything all that it it's pretty clear that it is silver. Pretty cool that you get coins all the way up to 1944. So, yeah, they're sterling silver all the way up till then. So, that's pretty that is pretty cool to me just getting the 5 cent pieces like that. And I have been moving to constitutional lately and I plan on moving a bit more to constitutional getting some more junk silver as time goes on and I this is kind of my tube I'm working on here got a few more pieces for that and I only got two as I said I like to just kind of go there only get what I want only get what I like if I don't find it really if it's not a piece that I'm really want I'm not going to get it just for the weight. But to me, that's a pretty nice silver dollar. I'm pretty happy about that. So that would be a 1963. Young Liz on the back still has quite a bit of luster. And I'm going to do a video on terms and stuff like that because things just cover things like luster in case you don't know what those are. Subscribe and stay tuned for that. But I did get one more. It's 1960 Canadian silver dollar. Another young Liz. Not a BU or anything like that, although it kind of looks like a BU here. Bought it as junk silver. 
still has quite a bit of luster, it probably is. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. That's going to be the latest pickups for the week. And, I also want to do a special shout out here for Pirate Stacker. This guy has really helped grow this channel a lot. He's been, he's a pretty good friend of mine. I'm pretty happy about just meeting him over YouTube and everything like that. Send him some emails every once in a while. Great person. And he's gonna get monetized soon. And yeah, if we could all help him out. He's scaled back the stack a bit. So if we could just all show him some support, go over there, give him a view, give him a like, give him a subscription. That would be awesome. So, yeah, if you guys could go over and check out Pirate Stacker's channel. Very awesome channel. I know you guys will enjoy his content. Yeah, and please like and share and subscribe to this channel too. I appreciate every single one of you. Yeah, so that's the latest pickups, what I'm getting. I am moving more to Constitutional Junk Silver, just because I get it the cheapest, and it sells basically all silver sells at the same price. I find that that's typically the lowest spread between buying and selling. That's kind of why I'm going for this, but I'm, as I said, I'm only going to buy the pieces that I think look nice, the pieces that I want in my stack. I'm not going to buy just for the weight it's only. I only found two, I only bought two. I went more there with a budget of four. But if I only find two out of the budget of four, I'm only going to get two. That's basically the attitude. But, that yeah, please like, share, subscribe. Stay positive. See you next time.